I'm gonna be using this bentonite clay. It's called bentonite mean baby. It was $9.99 for my beauty, one of the beauty stores that I go to around my house. Um, I saw people using bentonite clay before in the hair, but the Aztec one, but I didn't find my store, so that's all right. This one is whatever. So this one can be used for your hair, your skin, and internally. But I'm only gonna be using this on my hair. Um, my hair's been hasn't been washed in over three weeks, and I have I did I went to the pool today, so it's still wet in the middle. So it needs to be washed and taken care of, and I feel like it's very dry. So this is supposed to help bring back my moisture in my hair. It's a hair mask. It leaves your hair feeling light, clean, soft. Uh, light clean and soft and gets out all the nasty gunk in your hair so it says great for all hair types if you can see it here at the top of the bottle it's sulfate free it's for curly hair kinky hair wavy hair and straight hair so what I'm doing is I'm using a regular bowl the bentonite clay um, some extra virgin olive oil and some tap water for my mixture so um, people have used it with coconut oil instead of extra virgin oil but I like extra virgin oil better than coconut oil um, so I'm gonna eye this oh here's what it looks like here's what the clay looks like ew it doesn't have a smell or taste um, Ah! That's what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it first into the bowl. You can measure this if you want to, but I don't want to. I'm lazy. So this is how much I've placed in there right now. Like a little bit. I should have a little more. little more and this is my second time using the clay this is my second time using the clay and right now I don't know if you can see through it but it does not last long with thick hair so it's also a smaller little can so right now it stops right here this is how much I have left so I think for me I didn't even put that much in there. I did not put a lot in here. Maybe this will be a three use for me. Yeah. Okay, I just put a little more. So now I'm gonna open my olive oil. I'm just gonna eye it. I just pour a little bit of olive oil in it. Can you see that? A little bit. I don't know how much people put in the hair, but I don't want my hair too oily right now, messing with this. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add the water into the mixture. So I put a little bit of water. It said don't use uh, metal because it will stick to it. Let me see. It's plastic, and I'm using a knife. So I'm gonna find a spoon. Well, I don't want to use a spoon. So I'm just mixing it all up here. Oops. So you can see how it's looking right now. So I'm going to add a little more water to it. So it doesn't be so stiff. So using a spoon would be definitely better. I want to. I'm gonna use my water bottle. You can wet your hair in the shower if you want, but I don't want my whole body to get wet right now. So I'm just gonna wet my hair with the spray. Oh, guys, look! New spray bottle. Wet my hair with a spray bottle. Now, oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna add some more water to my hair because it's still looking dry. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see in the back, but my curls are starting to pop. So it's coming. My little batch. I'm gonna continue the rest of my hair and I'll come back. So <clears throat> I've placed it in my hair, but my hair is dry. Well, it's supposed to dry your hair, be dry on your hair. I'm just going to spray some more water. I'm going to just add the leftover over my hair, on my hair. I love that it's on longer than 30 minutes. Oh. So I'm just to put hair on out. So here's how my hair is looking right now. I'm gonna go wash it out and then I'll come back to you and show you how it looks. So my face feels pretty tight. That hurt, <laughs> but I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I already washed my hair and I washed my face. Um, I'm gonna go back and condition my hair and everything. But I just wanna show you guys how my hair looks once it's been um, rinsed um, and cleaned from the bentonite clay, bentonite mean baby clay. Here are my curls. My hair feels soft. It was a little easier for me to figure, finger to tangle my hair um, after doing this, my scalp looks clean. It feels clean. It's not the, it's not the squeaky clean that you feel with um, with a shampoo. But um, I like that. I still feel moisturized. Like um, the shamp like if I would shampoo my hair, my hair would feel dry. Like I've taken some some good stuff oils out of my hair, but this still feels soft. And yeah, I will do it again. I just want to show you guys how, how my hair looks once um once it's freshly washed. Yeah, so I had a great experience with this product. Um, my face feels good. Um, but my face is kind of drying because you know once you have your face dry without any moisture, it will feel dry. So um. Yeah, I don't think it did anything amazing with my face yet, but I think it just will pull the dirt out of your face and did that and my hair is nice and clean and it's still, okay, I don't want to shake too much and get water on my camera, 
but I still have the um, movement into it. And my curls look the same as it would do once I shampoo my hair. So for that, nothing special. Some people say when they use this on the hair, their um, curls bounce. Like they have more curls or um, the texture in the curls shows more. But I'm not experiencing that. So, but my hair does feel soft. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to check out, try using this product and let me know um, if you liked it or not. So I will use the Bandanai Clay once more while well, using it until it's all finished because I pay for it. So here's my hair and it's clean with Bandanai Clay. Thanks for watching. Bye.